they gave me their visionary award and they didn't ask me that question but they looked at everything I'd ever read and the whole citation practically was my grandmother. My grandmother was a very quiet, lovely woman. Um, she had ten children, seven lived. Uh, she lived way out in the mountains of western Pennsylvania where her family since 1830 had had a little lumber mill that made barrel staves and attended a one-room schoolhouse that her father and grandfather had attended. And above the blackboard was this saying that had probably, it was McGuffey, I don't know, he'd been there forever. And she made me memorize it when I was eight years old, she told me about one-room schoolhouse. And up there it was, if wisdom's ways you would wisely seek these five things. Observe with care of whom you speak, to whom you speak, how, when, and where. I memorized it and I realized today the only time I've ever gotten into trouble was when I forgot that. Now, she had lots of grandchildren that when we visited her, I would walk in the door and she would say, oh, Francie, as though I was the only person in the world. And when she talked, when I talked to her, she listened, she looked into my eyes, and from her, I learned the power of listening, the art of listening. But the messages we received from her made the, an enormous difference in my life. Now, my grandmother, John W. Gardner, Peter Drucker, and then lots of marvelous people. And always because my family told stories to the children, I've always had this sense of history about the people who went before me. And from her and my grandfather, I think early on I had this sense that we are called to do what we do. And when we are called, we're given the energy to do it.